Linux networking for everybody from the beginner to the amateur to the pro. We're going to cover the whole gamut. And who knew that it was possible? Nobody had faith in me, but I did. I did. So uh, where are we going to start? Thank you for asking. I like the interaction. I love my community. So click, like, and subscribe. Uh, all the commands I'm going to be running and more are on my blog. So check it out, linux.ninja. It's quite impressive. It, I've got many leather bound books there on the line. I'm kind of an impressive guy. So I think we should hang out. I can help. You can help me. It's a two way thing. It's, it's a community, really. Um, so uh, if you're running Minty Fresh Linux, Debian, who knows? Fedora running cosmic desktop like I am. <laughs> I know part of the elite uh, on the edge or arch. It's going to be a system D based system. So let's start by checking if a certain service is running system CTL status uh, network manager dot demon of doom service. Yes, it's active. It's enabled. It's enabled. As you can see, I'm running uh, a DHCP machine. It's just, you know, getting addresses for free. Uh, it's a Red Hat server. So uh, it's running. So it's getting an IP. So on the job tip, this is a free for all on the job tip, how you debug connective connectivity issues at home or on the job is uh, I start by doing this check my IP address. I have an IP address. This is my subnet mask broadcast. I'm going to check my gateway. You, you would do it like that, like that, um, default via, uh, or using NMCLI. There is my gateway routed via, um, you can also do route minus N. There are many options. So options galore. I would start by, I have an IP address. I ping the gateway, 192.168.124.1. It's replying. So is it routing outside? So it ping something that everybody pings, something like that. Okay, it's working. So then I would just ping something with the DNS name, see if DNS is working. It's working. So we're just, this video is over. Everything's working. We don't need to know anything. <laughs> so um, it, if you're on the job, another job tip, or you're taking the RHCSA exam or the LPIC, Linux Professional Institute of Mayhem exam, I would use NMTUI. So I think it's, it's installed by default on Red Hat. If you installed network manager um, using Pac-Man on Arch, NMTUI is, in inclu is included, not excluded. Uh, so you just edit a connection. So this is the quick and easy, dirty way to do it uh, on the exam. Just add your, change this to manual, uh, and then also add your address, gateway, DNS server, search domains, whatever you, you need. At your heart's content, edit away, put it in there, and okay, what I would do afterwards is uh, not going there again, of course. You would activate a connection, like first you deactivate it, then you activate it, and bada bing, bada boom, you are on your way to becoming a Linux network administrator of Doom. Uh, so NMTUI, if you forget, check out the blog, linux.ninja. Okay, here's something that I have to tell you about is don't use if config, uh, especially if you have a secondary IP address associated with your network connection, you're gonna run into issues. Why? Because it's not gonna show up. So only the primary IP address is showing up. So if you're on the job, if you are in an exam and you're used to using if config, because I used it for years and years and years and years and years, and years, and years. Uh, don't. Uh, it's, it's handy, but what is even handier and quicker is just IPA. Uh, and what's even better is just get with it. Get with the future. NMCLI is the future. 
Stop living in the past. Hello, you know, join us. We're a progressive community. <laughs> so, um, so uh, on, on an exam, you might be told, okay, or on the job, add a secondary IP address to this network connection. Okay, for whatever reason. So NMCLI connection modify and uh, let's select the connection. So what you can also do is just to see what's available is NMCLI connection. Uh, you have the loopback, you have my connection, the ENP one SO. So let's add NMCLI connection modify ENP SO and let's do double tap you have 318 possibilities. I know, options galore. Um, uh, here you have IPv4 addresses. So what you can do is IPv4 addresses, but if you're adding something, you have to put a plus. If you're removing something, you have to put a minus. So let's put a plus in there, double tap. You have 298 possibilities. Uh, it's a little bit less, but uh, that's how it works. Like if you have something that's already configured and you want to add something, a secondary thing, uh, so that will be a plus. So now you know. So let's do plus and let's do IPv4 uh, addresses. Oh, there's no space there. Uh, 10.00.8.24. And uh, a nifty way to do this to reconfigure your network connection. Sorry, <laughs> my Icelandic brain just kicked in and I just heard Icelandic words in my brain and that's not gonna help you at all, is it? Uh, NMCLI connection, uh, how we reapply the configuration is NMCLI connection up and then the connection name, down, connection goes down. So this successfully reapplies everything that we just did, uh, which is nice to do, especially if you're SSH into, you never want to just take stuff down and then there's another way that you can do it. Um, that's to NMCLI connection down EMPS and then you would do, if the first command succeed, then do this. NMCLI connection up and then the connection name. But this might look more impressive because it, it's more complex. So if somebody's watching you like, oh, what's that? Yeah, you can do that. But uh, I would just do up and just reapplies the config configuration that we just did. So and um, another thing on the exam, if you use NMTUI uh, and let's, if you, put everything in there, you activate the connection, and deactivate and then activate just to uh, reapply everything. And you restart the, the server and it's not coming up again. Uh, do this, NMCLI connection modify, connection name auto connect, yes. This is going to tell network manager to automatically connect this connection when you when you restart so uh that might be an issue it might not be an issue oh i forgot i'm still wearing my headphones i was not going to be wearing those <laughs> i forgot so coffee yes oh uh, so if it's ever not coming up again uh use auto connect so nmcli connection modify this is uh, a quick and like I usually don't use NMTUI because I just like NMCLI. I don't know. I think it makes me look awesome f for nobody. Um, IPv uh, so for DNS, double tap. Then you could put in the DNS server, the DNS search, priority options, yada, yada, yada. Um, so even like. Um, IPv4 and then you see all the options that you have you can do method and then manual so everything that you 
can do in NMTUI, you can do there. And if you're used to using NMCLI, it's just, it's quick, it's easy, and you have way more options. So I would definitely recommend getting used to it. Uh, and so I'm probably as quick using NMC. It's not about speed, people. It's about quality, not quantity. Hello. But uh, I just use NMCLI because I, I want to be hip, not living in the past. So what are we gonna check out next? So if you wanna see, if you ever have like DNS issues, you can check out resolve.conf, see the name server that you're using, if you're using a search uh, suffix, what that is. This is going to be uh, overwritten by Network Manager. So if you're just editing this manually, uh, network manager is going to overwrite that. So if you're ever like, what's the deal, man? Just keeps changing to the old values. Well, you have to change it with either NMCLI or NMTUI. So that's what's happening. And another place that's worth checking out as we become Linux ninjas is ETC network manager and the system connections is where your system connections are. Uh, we only have the one, the one. Um, so let's just check that in one out of them. And here you have everything about it. Uh, this is what system D is using to identify it, what options it has. Uh, Auto connect is set. Uh, you have the IP address that we just created. The secondary, the one, the other one is auto DHC, DHCP, um, and so there's nothing really uh, out of the ordinary there. So I thought let's just use NMCLI to change everything. Um, so let's do NMCLI connection modify. ENPS, let's do IPv4 connection method manual. Let's do uh, DNS. Uh, I have to know what my DNS is first. Okay, there it is. Um, let's do DNS. And let's do like that. And let's do, let's just do the whole, uh, everything, connection, auto, connect, yes. Uh, and let's do, what are we forgetting? Gateway, IPv4, gateway. Uh, gateway is the same as that. Uh, we did, let's do IPv4 address, we have, don't have that yet. One six eight dot one two four dot ninety nine subnet mask. Don't forget the subnet mask. Uh, so we have the IP gateway DNS auto connect. There's there's nothing left. There's nothing left, people. Uh, uh, up and let's do that. So I'm reconnected to the server because it, of course. The SSH connection went down. I changed the IP address. Adur. Um, so let's just verify that everything is working. System connections, connection name. You can see that the method manual is set because it was DHCP prior, but uh, I set it to manual. I set it to 99, the IP address. Here's the gateway. Uh, here's the DNS. So everything's looking good. Um, so let's just verify ping. Yep. Uh, what I have to say about NMCLI is use it, get comfortable using it, because if you ever need to script a solution, you always have to use NMCLI. You can't script around NMTUI, of course. So yeah, just get used to it. It's nice. If you ever use IP and then some command to set an address, let's say add, and then you add the IP address or you use Dell to remove it. Let's just say the IP address that we just set. Uh, 
device and then the device name that's how i would remove it but the thing is if you use that in an exam or in a live environment and you reboot the server it's not going to be there uh so th th this is just temporary so if you restart system network manager the service this is just going to be gone see ya so don't use that uh it's nice to put temporary stuff in there that you just can add and remove um so what else am i is good to know i would definitely just play around uh with nmcli connection uh let's just say device look at the options that you have and uh status then you can see if if it's not coming up then it's just missing the auto connect that we talked about earlier if it's not connected you rebooted the machine it's it's coming up disconnected use the auto connect command you're gonna be good to go um i don't know how many for many, how many minutes i've been talking maybe it's seven maybe it's 10 maybe it's 17 who knows but i think this is definitely a good primer to get you started like how to add an ip address the, the whole network should bam um and then also like how i would debug if i have a network connection issue can i ping the gateway uh, the router, can I actually ping outside the router? So is it actually routing outside? Uh, is the gateway working? Is it, is it a DNS issue? It's always DNS. <laughs> so uh, check if DNS is working. And, and uh, obviously just get used to using NMCLI and then uh, NMTUI, if, you, if it's just for a specific one-time thing, like an exam, NMTUI is, is proper. So I think, I think we're good to go. I think you should check out the blog. I missed some stuff like uh, TCP dumping. Uh, use SS to check out uh, what's happening with different parameters um, like that. Learn that, learn how to use that, uh, and then TCP dump. Um, that's always handy. That's really good on the job just to see what's ap actually happening on the wire. Uh, because if your network, like your firewall administrator says, oh, everything's open, but you're not receiving any traffic, classic. <laughs> uh, then you say, oh, you're not receiving anything like the TCP dump, nothing's coming in. And then he says, uh, two days later, you get an email. Oh, check again. I, I think I found something. Yes, now it's working. <laughs> so anyways, Peace out. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, another video is coming tomorrow or the day after about, um, what was it? Firewall. <laughs> so, hey, the firewall. So come back, check back. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So talk to you later, man. Bye.